<laughs> well, I've gone and done it. Yes, sir. Nancy nagged at me until I bought an automobile. Nancy said the Willets had one, the Weavers had one, and here we was riding around in a buckboard wagon with a bone spavin horse that had spring halt and was blind on the offside. <laughs> well, I didn't hanker for that gasoline wagon, but in order to keep peace in the family, I sold four head of cattle, my oats and corn, 20 hogs, 10 ton of hay, and put a mortgage on the farm and bought an automobile. I picked it out of a mail order catalog and had the National Bank of Pumpkin Center send them the money. Well, in about a week it come for freight and we got it unloaded and Jim Lawson hauled it up to our front yard and I think all Pumpkin Center turned out to see it. And Nancy hadn't been stickled over anything since our crazy quilt took a prize at the county fair as she was over that joy wagon. <laughs> well, I felt it in my bones. I'd made a fool of myself or soon would, so next day I filled it full of gasoline and got all ready to take Nancy, Jim Lawson, and Ezra Hoskins out for a ride. I got out the book of rules, and the more I read it, the less I knew about the innards of that machine. <laughs> Jim said I had to turn the crank to shoot it off. I turned that crank until my eyes stuck out, but it wouldn't budge. Nancy said the bobbin was wound too tight, or else the shuttle was threaded wrong. <laughs> Ezra Hoskins said he thought maybe I didn't have the right kind of gasoline and wanted to sell me a barrel he had at the store. By that time, all Funkin' Center was there and giving advice. Lige Willard said I ought to talk kindly to it and offer it some oats. Hank Weaver said I ought to lead it around for a spell until it got to know me, and Cy Pettengill said maybe I hadn't watered it yet, and Deacon Witherspoon wanted to offer prayer. <laughs> well, I grabbed hold of that crank again, and it flew back and hit me on the shins, and I sat down in the yard to think it over, and Nancy said the language I used was just shameful. Just then, Jim Lawson said, don't this plug go in somewhere? We found where it went, and I turned the crank again, and that machine began to rear and snort and started off like a skyrocket. And there was a lot of things happened in less time than it takes to tell it. That machine started off across lots and everything with it. Ran over Hank Weaver's dog, tore a hole through Willett's picket fence, Knocked over Cy Pettengill's beehives and kept right on a going. <laughs> well, I worked every lever that machine had, and everyone made it go faster. Nancy was screaming, Ezra Hoskins was playing, and it wouldn't be right to tell what Jim Lawson was doing, but Nancy said it sounded like he was talking to the Lord. <laughs> Just then we went through Ab Whitaker's wheat field and set it on fire, and I managed to steer it onto the turnpike road, but that didn't help matters any, cause it only hit the road once in a while. It tore down the toll gate, ripped down one side of the covered bridge, then started off through Jabe Fisher's pasture, and kill four sheep and a calf, and then run into a haystack. <laughs> That's all I remember now. All I have got to show for that joy ride is a broken leg, some rubber tires, six lawsuits, and a mortgage on the farm. Nancy says if we ever own another one, we will have a regular chiffonier to run it. I ain't saying much, but I've got a lingering suspicion that all my joy riding will be done in the old buckboard wagon. <laughs>